Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Interceptions have been happening since the first aircraft were converted to warplanes in the early 20th century. Intercept tactics reached their peak during the Second World War with RAF, or Royal Air Force, intercepting Luftwaffe squadrons over the English Channel. It escalated to more passive intercepts during the Cold War. In the January 2018 Black Sea incident, a Russian Su-27 intercepted a U.S. EP-3 Ares at a dangerously close range of five feet, driving the surveillance aircraft into its jet wash. This event highlights modern Russian intercept tactics, which frequently use aggressive near approaches to assert territorial claims, as opposed to traditional intercepts, which usually maintain safety distances while identifying unfamiliar aircraft. Another incident occurred in March 2023, when two Russian Su-27 jets fiercely intercepted a US MQ-9 drone over the Black Sea. The fighters dumped fuel on the unmanned aircraft, and one Su-27 hit its propeller, causing U.S. operators to drop the damaged MQ-9 into international seas. This incident represented a substantial increase in Russian intercept tactics. During a 2020 Black Sea incident, Russian Su-27s aggressively intercepted a U.S. Air Force B-52 passing within 100 feet of its nose while utilizing afterburners. This incident revealed a critical capability gap the U.S. and NATO's lack of dedicated interceptor aircraft in the region after retiring specialized interceptors, such as the F-106, and relying instead on multi-role fighters. An F-15E Strike Eagle ground interdiction aircraft crew begins with pre-flight checks, which include evaluating mission data and weather conditions. Ground staff carry out final inspections while pilots do external walk-around checks. Following engine start and system verification, the F-15E flight crew requests clearance to taxi. They adhere to specified taxiways while maintaining radio communication with ground control. At the runway holding point, they finish final checks and gain takeoff permission from the tower. During the mission, they carry out set goals while preserving situational awareness and fuel levels. Return to base, they contact approach control, obtain landing clearance, and enter the traffic pattern. After touchdown, they leave the active runway and contact ground control for taxi instructions.
The F-15E returns to its hardened aircraft shelter, or HAS, along designated taxiways, looking for ground crew marshalling signals. The crew performs shutdown procedures, such as applying the parking brakes, performing after-landing checks, and turning off the engines. Ground staff secure the aircraft while pilots finish mission documentation and attend debriefings. During the September 2020 ABMS test, an F-15 Sea Eagle intercepted a B-52 Stratofortress over the Gulf of Mexico, demonstrating next-generation battle Make management capabilities. Safe. Make your arm safe. The Advanced Battle Management System is a huge step forward in military technology, establishing a networked ecosystem in which many sensors transmit data into a cloud-based environment. This technology facilitates rapid information sharing and decision-making throughout the air, space, and cyber domains. During the intercept test, the F-15C acquired real-time data from various sources, including ground-based radars, airborne early warning planes, and space-based sensors. This information fusion enabled the pilot to carry out the intercept more effectively than previous methods. ABMS highlights how modern air operations are becoming more reliant on interconnected systems rather than standalone platforms. The system enables warfighters to immediately share targeting data, threat information, and mission update across numerous platforms. This capability represents a change from traditional command and control to a more dynamic, networked approach that allows for faster decision-making in contested areas by processing massive volumes of data with artificial intelligence and machine learning. So the mission for today is uh, the ABMS exercise, and today is a practice uh, for the uh, big game uh, on Thursday. Told is on there for uh, our standard homestead runway uh, for 90 degrees. We'll use the uh, standard alert uh, 17 alpha uh, uh, net. So hopefully the pocket jig is up and we should be able to enter that. Developed after the F-15, the F-16 Fighting Falcon is a highly maneuverable multi-role fighter capable of reaching Mach 2 and doing 9G maneuvers. Its powerful avionics include an APG-68 radar system with superior targeting capability. The aircraft may carry a variety of weaponry, including air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, and an internal 20-millimeter gun. Its fly-by-wire control technology and bubble canopy ensure excellent handling and visibility. With a combat radius of more than 500 miles, the F-16 can conduct various missions, such as air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and surveillance. Modern variations have better electronics, AESA radar, and improved data sharing capabilities. The F-16's agility, firepower, and dependability have made it one of the most successful fighter aircraft in history. During an aerospace control alert scramble, F-16 pilots deploy from the ready room to the aircraft within minutes of the klaxon sounding.
they race to their armed and fueled aircraft, which are positioned in alert hangars. Ground workers help with speedy engine starts while pilots do brief pre-flight inspections. Tower control gives fast clearance, prioritizing F-16s over all other traffic. Pilots follow no rad prescribed intercept vectors, often achieving wheels up within five to 15 minutes of the initial notice. They receive regular updates on intercept coordinates and target information as they ascend height. The intercepting F-16s must identify, intercept, and escort unknown aircraft in accordance with the rules of engagement, while remaining in continual touch with command and control during the mission. The F-22 Raptor formation fly with the F-16s over CENTCOM demonstrates the Air Force's combined air dominance capability. The Raptor's stealth and super cruise capabilities, sustained supersonic flying without afterburners, complement the F-16's established multi-role capabilities. While the F-16s have a visible presence, the F-22's sophisticated sensor fusion and low observable technology enable it to operate unseen, gathering intelligence and providing overwatch. Its supersonic mobility and superior avionics make it lethal in both beyond visual range and close in combat. This partnership illustrates modern air warfare tactics in which fourth and fifth generation fighters collaborate, with F-22s frequently serving as quarterbacks to less advanced aircraft while remaining unnoticed by prospective opponents. The F-22 Raptor's short production run of only 195 aircraft makes each display of its capabilities more important. Despite its low numbers, the F-22 is America's best air dominance fighter, capable of achieving air supremacy through stealth, supercruise, and enhanced sensor fusion. Force demonstrations often involve F-22s doing high-speed, low-altitude passes or extreme vertical climbs, showcasing the aircraft's unique thrust vectoring capabilities and supernatural mobility. These displays function as both tactical deterrence and strategic messaging. Because of the modest size of the fleet, F-22s are strategically placed to maximize their impact. When staging displays of force, they frequently fly alongside fourth-generation fighters such as F-15s and F-16s, employing their stealth advantage to reach contested airspace while directing other aircraft from a safe haven. Despite production stopping in 2011, the F-22's capabilities remain unparalleled, making each aircraft an asset in the United States Air Force inventory. F-22-JBER, or Joint Base Elemendorf-Richardson, Raptors, regularly conduct intercept and escort training in Alaska's huge airspace, rehearsing crucial procedures for dealing with airspace infractions near sensitive Arctic regions. Raptor pilots go through a succession of more difficult intercept techniques throughout these exercises. They begin by locating the target aircraft and then flying in tight formation to establish visual contact. The F-22's superb mobility enables pilots to position their aircraft such that they may be readily seen by the intercepting plane. Pilots employ to find international signals, wing rocks, and light signals to communicate with aircraft that do not respond to radio calls. They also practice escort techniques, which include maintaining close formation while steering aircraft away from prohibited zones. 
This training is especially vital in Alaska, where civilian aircraft occasionally enter restricted zones and foreign military aircraft frequently test response times. The F-22's greater speed and control make it perfect for sensitive intercept missions. Aircraft like the Bell P-39 Era Cobra had a revolutionary mid-engine design. With the engine behind the pilot and a nose-mounted 37mm cannon shooting through the propeller hub. During World War II, it provided considerable support to Soviet soldiers. Nicknamed Fork-Tailed Devil by the Germans, the twin-boom P-38 Lightning performed admirably as a long-range fighter and reconnaissance aircraft. Its counter-rotating propellers solved torque issues, making it extremely agile at high altitudes. A classic, the F-86 Sabre ruled the skies during the Korean War, outskilling Soviet MIG-15s 10 to 1. With its swept-wing design and superior gun sight, it became America's first successful transonic fighter plane. The Northrop F-89 Scorpion was America's first all-weather jet interceptor during the Cold War. It was equipped with rockets and, eventually, nuclear-tipped missiles to defend North America against prospective Soviet bomber threats. Convair's F-106 Delta Dart, America's ultimate interceptor, protected against Soviet bombers through the Cold War. Its advanced fire control system and Mach 2 plus speed made it the ultimate interceptor. Interceptor missions have never stopped occurring. With a more aggressive Russia and intercepts of the Tupolev Tu-95 strategic bombers and other aircraft, the need for an interceptor is more necessary than ever, drawing on a history of successful aircraft. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.